Hi guys, Fancy Nancy True here. So it's uh, been a minute or a few since I last posted. Um, gosh, I've just been so busy. Um, I opened a new store and so there was a lot of a lot of training that was going on and then a lot of working with no days off and then right after my store opened um, I finally took a few days off for my daughter's wedding <laughs> yay um, it, it, it was exciting that's just that's a whole nother story anyway um, point is it's been let's see April May June July. it's been four months um, since I made a video and posted it and uh, oddly enough um, what I'm gonna post about today is um, somewhat related quite a bit related actually to um, the post four months ago or at least um, it's in relation to where I was and what I was doing um, so if you saw the last one I was on quarantine I um, had had left work um, after doing inventory and was exhausted and when I woke up the next morning I knew I wasn't feeling well um, it was it was my day off I had a couple of days off and um, you know when when you've lived a while and you've paid attention to your body and your mind and who you are um, you just kind of have a sense of, of what's going on and I felt fairly certain that I had the flu and um, so I knew I just needed to rest not a big deal um, so I got plenty of rest over the weekend and was due to go back to work Monday morning um, I knew Sunday night that I still had a fever and going back to work was not at all what I should be doing so it um, I called you know another manager let him know what was up said I wasn't gonna be in and then um, sometime Monday a family member reached out said you know are you sure it's the flu um, maybe you should go see a doctor uh, reason for those of you that have been living under a rock and don't know what I'm talking about or what was going on in March COVID um, it had been around for a while much longer than the majority of the general public um, knows but it was being kept quiet um, that's not what this video is about so I, I don't want to get into the the politics of it the who did what who didn't do what I I, I just it's not important to me right now uh, the whole point is that we were just beginning to learn more about this coronavirus and that it wasn't just in other parts of the world it was here in the United States um, and so anyhow, went to the doctors the next day, turned out I didn't have the flu, and even though I had a ton of symptoms, uh, at this very early stage, unless you were rich and famous, uh, you weren't, you just weren't gonna get a test. So I couldn't get a corona test, didn't have the flu, was recommended I take a two week quarantine. My company was not gonna pay um, my sick time because I didn't have a positive test. Of course, I couldn't get a test at all. Um, Fortunately, I had the sick time, so I took the two weeks, and I, I loved being home. I'm a homeschooling mom. Um, just a couple of years ago, I was home with my kids all of the time. Um, you know, I've since gone back to work, started this new career, something I never anticipated at this point in my life. Um, working, yes, working for myself, absolutely. Um, going back to work for somebody else and for a lot of money I might add yeah that was that really wasn't part of the plan but regardless I had a job I had sick time um, you want to pay me to stay home for two weeks so I can stay home with my kids okay I'll take it and I think that uh, we were participating in spirit week and so that's what the post was about um, again, it doesn't really have anything to do with this. The whole point was that I was on quarantine because of this whole COVID mess. And um, now, four months later, I have been uh, through another quarantine, not nearly as long, because this time I was able to get a test and it was negative. Yay! 
Um, so I was able to go back to work. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. As an essential worker, I've worked through this whole mess aside from the, the short quarantines I've had. Um, I, I'm a store manager um, in the retail arena, so um, I'm exposed to a lot of people all day, every day. Um, and um, yeah, I. the whole point is I've been dealing with this pretty much since the beginning. I've had to wear a mask longer than the majority of the people out there, so unless you're in the healthcare arena or uh, retail, retail that's considered essential, um, or you know, firefighter, police officer, things of that nature. Um, you haven't had to wear a mask for the most part. You've probably been stuck at home a lot, or at least you were initially. Um, I, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I've done a ton of research and that I know um, that wearing a mask can do this good or bad or that not wearing a mask could do this good or bad I, I haven't I have I've done a little bit of research I have my own ideas and theories if you will um, as as a um, free spirit free thinking uh, you know I don't, I don't know because I, I don't want to get caught up in labels and I'm um, well, I just I believe hmm, I'm grateful to have the freedom that I have I believe in my rights I believe that we should all have those rights we should all have those freedoms I don't like the government or anybody for that matter telling me what to do <laughs> um, never have probably never will um, I don't know if wearing a mask is doing more harm um, than not wearing one. Uh, I know that I have asthma and wearing a mask is more difficult. It makes breathing even more difficult for me. Um, yeah, I, I don't like wearing a mask. I'm like probably the majority of the public out there. And as somebody who is often at odds with our government um yeah i'm one of those people and and i'm also somebody who um you know believes in in standing up and fighting for others and uh not being silent um i don't like having my thumb you know pressed down on me i yeah the masks suck they really do i wish i didn't have to wear one ever um, I would love to be one of those people that could just stand up and say, you know, no mass or, you know, whatever. Um, however, there are kind of two things that are dictating me wearing a mask right now. One of them is my employer. <laughs> um, and yeah, I could quit my job or not wear a mask or any number of things and and then not have money to take care of my family. Yes, I have a husband who works, and yes, I have side hustles, uh, but the the fact is that right now I have a job that I've worked very hard at to get to where I am, and I'm not gonna throw that all away um, over this mask thing. It's it's not, just not worth it to me. Um, for at this point in my life, this is the job that I have, and it's um, it's what I'm going to continue continue to do until I no longer have to. Um, but right now, it's it's keeping a roof over my head, it's feeding my family, it's providing for my family, it's allowing me to to do things in my life that I'd like to continue to do. So I'm not going to quit my job, and I'm not going to not wear a mask and get fired. So uh, the second thing is that I'm a compassionate person. And while I don't like the masks and wearing one makes it more difficult for me to breathe, I could not live with myself knowing that I potentially um, made somebody else sick with COVID and die. That's just not, that's not who I am. It's not a position I wanna be in. And um, if wearing, again, 
I'm not saying that masks are the cure to this. I'm not saying that they don't do harm in other ways. They might. I, again, I, I don't know. And that's why when I'm home or I'm in my car, you get to see me. No mask. Um, maybe some sunglasses. That's about it. However, when I am at my job and when I go into another uh, retail establishment or medical facility or salon or whatever it is, I will wear a mask. Um, one, because it is now, uh, as of today actually, been mandated uh, for the whole state of Ohio that we are required to wear masks. Um, I, you know what, I'm all for that. Again, I hate wearing a mask just as much as everybody else. It makes it more difficult for me to breathe. But I believe in looking out for fellow humankind and I don't want people to get sick because I sneezed or coughed or just in conversation any uh, you know spit that comes out of my mouth I, I don't want to be responsible for that and additionally I don't want you to potentially infect me um, I have believed from the very get-go that as a retail worker if I have to wear a mask I I'm wearing the mask. My associates are all wearing masks. We have so much protective uh, supply. You know, we have we have shields. We have we are cleaning around the clock. Um, we're what you know we're we're doing everything that we can to protect the public, to protect our customers. What are you folks doing to protect us? So I'm happy that it has been mandated because quite frankly, if I've got to wear one, you should have to wear one. And I don't want to hear about your medical conditions. Okay, now, now I'm getting a little upset. But but yeah, I have asthma and I still have to wear one. So way back when, uh, when it just sounded like we were going to have a big flu season, I grabbed some masks from my job when we still had them. I bought some and I was grateful because it wasn't long thereafter that this whole corona mess came up and I was like, yep, we gotta wear masks now. So this is what I started with. These lovely blue paper ones and in case you didn't know, there's a wire piece at the top so that you can adjust it to fit around your nose because, of, because otherwise they just, you know, they're gonna slide up and down, move around, really annoying. Okay, so this is what probably um, the majority of folks started out with and or or maybe something like this. We've got these as well. Um, oops, I forgot to, <laughs> helps if you put both straps around you. See, I'm just not, ugh. Uh, okay, ouch. This one is tight. This is um, like the type of thing you would see construction workers wear. And I don't even know if you can hear me. That's the other thing that, it's been so difficult to communicate <laughs> with the public. Um, you know, here I am trying to talk to customers all day long and either they can't hear me or I can't hear them. Um, it's real annoying. And, you know, I've heard or seen so many people post about how they miss, they miss seeing people smile and I'm right there with them. I... Um, I love to smile and I love to see people, you know, smiling and um, so it's, it's kind of a bummer when you, and I'm also the type of person that I talk with my hands and I use my face a lot. I'm a very, I have a very expressive um, face, so I don't hide my emotions very well, um, even with a mask. <laughs> so while most people are upset that they're not seeing the smiles, um, I know that people can still tell when I smile because of my eyes. Um, okay, anyhow, so those are like your paper ones and cloth, whatever you want to call them, construction workers, medical. Um, and then our local grocery store started selling these cloth um, ones. And I know a lot of people were ordering them online. Um, I didn't want to spend the money quite honestly, but I was getting really tired of this kind. And so when some coworkers found these at the local grocer, I ran out and got a purple one because it's my favorite color and a black one because black goes with everything. And, um, and I got a kid one for my youngest who refuses to wear it. Um, fortunately, his mom has 5 million other masks that he can wear. So, and then 
silly me. Plus, these are great because, you know, like these, they say, keep them in a, <coughs> excuse me, paper bag, something like that. Um, eh, I just say replace them. Um, you're supposed to be able to use them however many times. I would, I prefer not to do that. The cloth ones are great. You just throw them in the wash. And then my husband reminded me that we had these great doohickeys that I had forgotten about. Ugh. And uh, huh. this is great too. I thought I would prefer this. The only problem is I have a really small face. So small face, small head, whatever. And so with these, oh, there's a hair. Um, they would fall down. I would, you know, bend, I, I don't even know what I would do, but I would be doing something in my day and bam, it would fall down. So that's not great. But if you notice <laughs> with these cloth ones, I, I love how these look on some people, like their, their face, their head just really fills them out. And it's like, oh, cool. Me? No, it's, it's loose everywhere. Even that, even though I got this big old nose, somehow I just don't fill them up. So they fall down on me. Um, whatever. And can we just talk about how hot they are and how you sweat? And also some of them, um, for me, they really irritate my chin. Um, annoying. So anyhow, one day a friend comes into my new store and I forget which one of these masks I was wearing. Um, but she asked if I could use a new mask and, um, and I was like, yeah, always. And to my surprise, she came back a couple hours later with this beauty that she had made just for me and also treated with some essential oils. So it was medicinal and healing and so much more pleasant. Um, and it's even got these little, ouch, so I can adjust it. Um, again, I have a tiny face, so it's still, you know, doesn't quite, think I can almost maybe go all the way. Ha, look at that. That's okay. So now this fits better, but again, I'm going to be miserable in no time because I won't be able to breathe. Um, uh oh, and now I might be stuck. So love this. Thank you, Tiffany. And then my daughter, as I mentioned, um, got married. And so she and her husband had all of these awesome masks made. They say the same thing, just one's um, silver, one's purple. So, of course, we've got these. Um, you know, <laughs> get quite the mask collection. Then, last week, um, my job sent us all our own cloth masks. Again, I mean, it's pretty much the same as every other cloth mask that I have. Only this matches uh, my work attire. Um, so I have this great assortment for of masks, um, but I'm still miserable. And the weather this summer has been just like ridiculously hot and humid, which makes my asthma worse. I don't know about everybody else, but that's how mine works. So just really struggle to breathe. Um, and then my husband, who's also an essential worker as a truck driver, um, he comes home with uh, a shield. And I was like, what? I need one of those. So he came home with one for me the next day. And yesterday I wore this to work. Now, I know I look like an alien. Um, mine sticks out, but whatever, don't care. This is by far um, my favorite. <laughs> Funny thing is, I, I wore it yesterday to work and <laughs> I felt naked. I have been wearing these masks for so long and since they, you know, fit right over my face, uh, right over my, my mouth and my nose, this and all the freedom that I have down here, which just took some getting used to. I, I really did. I felt naked in the face anyway. Um, and while these make you sweat, you know, like down here, this, of course, made me sweat up here. So my hair was a hot mess, hence still is today. Um, and I don't know if it's just because my eyes are older or, bec 
because of the material. I don't know what it is. I can't see out of this um, as well. So there is the, you know, my head is sweating and my vision is not 100%. Um, however, I'm not as hot. I can breathe better. Um, people can see me smile. People can hear me. Uh, so I definitely prefer this. My daughter told me that I needed to wear, <clears throat> I still needed to wear a mask underneath. I said, yeah, unless somebody requires it, um, no. And so I wore this all day yesterday. Um, you know, I, I don't believe it's a problem. I don't, it, it's a face covering, it's a face shield. So I thought it was okay. Then I came home last night and I did some research and, uh, <laughs> While this is great for me, this is great for everybody else. So it looks like um, I may have to do this. Hmm. When I go back to work tomorrow, or I can just do this, but I think, <laughs> I think that my preference would be to wear both because, um, well, just because. Uh, if people are coming into the store wearing masks now that it's mandated for the whole state, so and it's been mandated in our county for the past week, um, and I have a sign up, just in case you don't watch the news, um, or don't keep up with things on social media, then yeah, my sign is gonna let you know. Either you wear a mask or you're not coming in my store. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know if I will continue with the cloth um, alone or if I'll do the whole alien thing because that's what I feel like I look like. Um, but either way, it sounds like I'm stuck wearing the cloth because my, my job um, <clears throat> is to protect the public. And not my job is in my job. I'm, I'm not a police officer. Um, Save that thought. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, another day. I my job as a retail worker, as a store manager, as an essential worker, um, is to wear a mask to protect the public, to protect the customers. We'll see how long the mandate um, lasts. I may, if everybody else, you know, goes back to not wearing a mask, and I continue to be. Um, required to wear one, then I will definitely wear two. Even if I'm hot and miserable and look silly, um, I'm going to do what I have to to protect myself and to protect everybody else. So no matter how you feel about it, um, I, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you what to do any more than I want the government to tell any of us what to do. But I, I do believe that wearing these masks will slow things down. And we need we need to do that. The, this has gone on long enough. Um, I, I hope that people have learned something and maybe have a new appreciation for this new way of life that the majority of folks have um, had to, uh, you know, acclimate to. Um, aside from the mask, my life hasn't changed a whole lot. I've continued to work. I've continued to come home and work. <laughs> um, but I... I do hope that a lot of good comes out of this, um, but more than anything, I hope it goes away soon or at least slows way down so we can have some sort of normalcy. So I'm just kind of asking you to have a little bit of compassion and wear a mask. Um, chances are when you go out, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not for very long. You're making an errand run. Um, so would it kill you? Because it might kill somebody else. So stop and think about that. And if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to see you come back and uh, check out what we do. So please have a fabulous day. Stay healthy.